Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of August reading start from the 15th through the 21st of August 2020. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming for Sagittarians for this week time starting tomorrow. And um, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading event. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And um, you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it. You can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So, yeah, let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week's time. Sagittarius. Let's begin. Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Ace of Swords. I'm going to take it the way it is. Let's take Queen of Cups. Um, I got too lost in the whole uh, messages that I'm picking up with these cards here. So I just didn't want to stop and inter, you know, uh, uh, interrupt the messages that I, I could, uh, you know, come, uh, I could pick coming from these cards here. So I just, uh, continued putting out cards. So I'm not going to talk about what cards came up, but yes, I need the deck. We do have the star. Um, if you could see the cards, then it's all good. If you cannot, then let it be. I will just go with the energy that I'm picking up here. Um... This week is going to be something which is um, there is something in your life right now which is bothering you. Um, it's it's not something which is always twenty four seven on your mind. It's not something that you're bothered about all the time. It's something that you you, you do get some sort of. Uh, you know, there, there are some, you know, uh, the fears, doubts, uh, uh, something that brings you some sort of uh, tension uh, at times. There, there is something that happens, like, you know, uh, there, there are certain triggers that trigger that uh, one feeling, which is something which, uh, which makes you feel very bad, which makes you feel stuck, which makes you feel like uh, you are stuck in a situation where you are unable to break free. You are stagnant. There is something that you really want to get free from, but you are unable to do so. You are unable to have that freedom. Um, and it's it's not a heavy uh, kind of a situation. Like, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not something which is 24-7 on your mind. It's, uh, it's like somebody in your life or something in your life is what triggers that emotion, which, which is very unhappy, unhealthy, especially around the middle of the week. I do see you having that intensified emotion around that one thing which is something that you don't want to even think of, but it's going to, you know, pop up in your life. Um, it can be a relationship situation. It can be another situation that you ha you will have to deal with. It can be a relationship situation in terms of, you know, you will have something to come up with. Uh, you will have something that will come up for you to deal with uh, around the middle of the week time, which could be something related to your, your ex or something or something related to because why I'm picking up the ex situation here because it's something that you really want to stay away from, break free from. But yes, it does keep coming back. It does keep coming interfering in your life. It does comes as a, as a tension, as a, as a, as a block for you in your life. You really want something that you could get rid of uh, the situation, this person, this relationship, whatever it is. I don't know what it will be different for different people, but I feel like you know it's a past thing. It, it it cannot be something that you are dealing with now. It is like a ghost from the past that comes in and haunt you again. 
So it can be a money situation, it can be a family situation, it can be a relationship situation. It would be different for different people. But this is not something which is happening right now in your life. That's why it's not something 24-7 on your mind. But yes, there are times like maybe once in a month, two and twice, uh, you know, once in two months, once in maybe three months, this thing happens, this trigger happens, which does bring you a lot of chaotic situation. It's uh, for very few of you, it, it could be a black magic situation too which comes and goes, which comes and goes, which comes and goes, which interferes in your life for some time. And it, 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 you know, if that's a black magic situation, it is, you know, bound to be that way for you. Like, you know, if somebody has casted a spell on you, uh, be that in your love life, work life, home life situation, some, you know, you might have experienced the same kind of situation for you back in maybe, you know, two, two months uh, ago, two years ago for some of you. But yes, it is like something which is negative that you have to break free from. Especially if it is a black magic situation, you really have to break free from that. You really have to get uh, rid of that, that black magic influence if that's the black magic. If it's a relationship, if it's, a, it's, if it's an ex that keeps coming back to you, you really have to get rid of that person. You really have to break ties and this, you know, this one code which is keeping you connected right now. Even if it's a black magic thing, I feel like, you know, it cannot affect you if you are not in touch with this one person who has that or who has been doing that black magic on you. And and I feel like, you know, for majority of you, I feel like, you know, you already know who this person is or who is that one thing or one person who has been blocking you uh, all your life. And this this is something from the past this is somebody from the past it doesn't have to be in a love life situation it can be it can be sibling it can be family friend it can be ex it can be somebody anybody actually it can be anybody but yes you really have to get you know if if it, it is not a black magic it can be an ex like i said earlier so don't don't get too caught up in the idea of black magic it's not going to be for everyone out there but yes for some of you maybe it's an ex that keeps coming back which haunts you um and you you are unable to have the clarity around it how to break free from this that's why this card came up like this there's lack of clarity there's lack of connection of you and the god as well why because if you had that connection that strong with god you would have gotten rid of this person this situation already which you have been unable to you know uh have so or do so so you really have you know some days coming in the middle of the week time where you will feel trapped again you will feel blocked again because of this person the situation that you will have to deal with but um you have to do two things here one get rid of it or detach yourself from it you know if this is a person completely detach cut ties with this person the situation completely if you could do so if it's a black magic get rid of it but yes there has to be the distance maintained between you and this person there has to be a distance between maintained between you and whatever situation that is that gets you back involved into it you really have to cut ties with it i don't know why i'm picking up the cutting ties is very important here for for whatever situation it is you really have to break free if if um you really have to break break yourself free from this one thing one situation one person um to get rid of this negativity because it will come keep coming back otherwise if you don't get rid of it now because i feel like you know you have lack of clarity around it how to break free from it you you don't know even if you know who has done the black magic you are still not you know keeping the distance maintained if you know this person every time comes back and brings you brings you down you're still not ready to leave this person behind and have the safe distance maintained from this person so i feel like you know um you do get emotionally involved in this drama and you do get influenced and impacted by uh, the situation, this person in a negative way. And you don't understand this. Otherwise, you would have, you know, um, you would have cut ties with this one person situation, whatever it is. But yes, it's high time you understand this time around because I feel like, you know, this time around, it's going to come so heavy for you. That's why you would feel the need, urge to, to, to break free from it. And the, the, the moment you do that, the moment you cut ties, your life is going to flourish. All the blocks, all the, you know, negativity that you have been having lately in your life, be that in your love life, work life, home life situation, it has been because of this one thing, one person, one relationship. One thing that needs to be ended has to be ended during this week time. Otherwise, it's going to come back again to haunt you again. Whatever it is, you really have to get rid of it and cut ties with it. 
uh, if it's a black magic, get it removed. Otherwise, it's going to come back. It is something which is done in cycles, basically, to get rid of it. So, yeah, let's see what the Oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this week time. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's nothing... Uh, it's actually too negative, to be very honest. The energies that I could pick up here are, uh, are so negative. I don't want to even get into details because the more I'm, I'm going to talk about it, the more it is going to come true for you. So let's not even, you know, focus on that. I would suggest you to get rid of it. If it's a person, um, situation, um, try to get some clarity. You really need to build a connection between you, you know, with, with your God, with your source, with your, um, with your higher self. Um, you have been staying away from all this uh, during this time. So just try to have that connection and trust me, you would be able to protect yourself from these kind of evil energies around you. So just um, do that. Let's see what the Oracle has to add to the reading for you. Attraction. Do attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, I feel like, you know, whenever you're happy, actually, uh, some, this, this one thing comes up again. To, to spoil you, to spoil everything for you, to spoil every mood, every good mood of yours, to spoil your situation, your life overall. Um, even now, when this is going to come up during this, you know, mid of the week time, I feel like, you know, you will be enjoying, you will be having fun. And then this thing pops up out of nowhere and it's going to bring you down. So you really have to break free from it. So try doing that. And uh, once you have done this, then only you will be able to enjoy your life fully and completely. And then you will be attracting a lot of abundance, happiness. There will be huge, big changes coming for you in your life. Get rid of it completely. And try to have some sort of clarity around it. I don't know whatever it is all about for you in your life situation. But yes, I hope you get the message that I wanted to convey out to you. Let's see. Magic. Make a wish believe in miracles and magic surrounds you <sighs> and though this card is the most powerful of this deck it's like you know anything that you want you can have it but i feel like you know you always your magic your power your your happiness is always this is like a monster, whoever it is whatever it is this is like a monster that comes uh, comes in your life and eats up all and everything good in your life and then leave and then whenever you're feeling like okay fine now i'm good now i'm you know everything is perfect this thing comes again in your life so you really have to get rid of it to enjoy the magic forever in your life and again trust me you can get rid of it you know there is no question or doubt about it but yes for that you have to um try to bring some clarity and I feel like for majority of you, you know what this is all about. You know what I'm talking about. It can be um, a person that you really have to get rid of from. Uh, so you could have the life that you desire. It could be a mental block. It can be black magic thing like I mentioned. Uh, whatever it is, it can be a bad toxic relationship for some of you. And you have to break free from this to get the happiness that you seek. To expect the miracles to come for you. Because right now... With this situation, it's it's something from the past for sure, which has been coming up again and again. And the moment it comes, is like, you know, uh, the hell for you. Like, you know, it's that kind of uh, toxic situation to deal with. So, yeah, this premise is coming up for you for this week time. Um, if the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. If you want that uh, black magic removal service from me, you can always reach out to me for that as well on my email ID in the description box. Check the description box for further details on that. Till I do the next week for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.